So far, I've worked in three different countries, two in Europe, one in Asia. And doesn't matter what you do, you cannot like it 100%, at least not 100% of the time. Especially when it gets too repetitive and it's always the same thing and the same thing again. Or maybe it's just that I'm never happy. Well, I'm going to share with you some of the things that I hate about working in Myanmar. But before, let me tell you what I like about working in Myanmar. First, to join the community. I know it's not really easy for me to make friends. I'm quite quiet, I always stay on my place and I don't talk that much with people. Maybe sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm quiet and I don't talk. So the first good reason to have a work in Myanmar is force myself to get to talk with someone. To get to join the community and have some people around me. If I'm not working, I'll probably just stay home all the time. And this not just helped me to make friends, but also to learn a little bit of the culture and a little bit of the language. I still don't know much. I still don't really speak Burmese that much. I understand a little bit. Actually, something that's helped me a lot in learning or understanding a little bit is by working and having people speaking Burmese near me. For sure it's not for money. This is just like a hundred dollars. Actually that's on the other side, on the things that I don't like. By the way, you can always buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. Another reason is to force me to go out. I work full time so I have to work most of the times and that forced me to go out. If it's sunny, if it's raining, it doesn't matter. I have to go out, I have to work. And that's the reason number two. I cannot force you. So if you're willing to, please drop a like in this video. Now what I really hate about working in Myanmar. Full time, six days a week. That is a lot. Which means I don't have much time for my family. I spend most of the time working, always split. Which means I have to work in the morning, have a break, and then go back at night to work again. And during that break time, most of the time nobody is home, so I just spend the time by myself. And when I'm leaving to work is when my family arrives. So I just get to spend like half an hour with them and then I have to go to work. Sometimes when I arrive at night, they are already sleeping. And it's almost time to sleep anyway, so I don't get to spend much time with the family. And that's the two worst things. Have to go, come back, go again and come back again on the same day, which leaves me with not much time for the family. Payment. And of course, I don't like this too. I mean, it's good to have a payment at the end of the month for the work you've done, but it's just like less than 25% of what I'm used to. Yes, I get it. I do know that I am in Myanmar. I knew that before I came here. So it was not really a shock to me, but still when I convert the money, it looks like, oh, that's not much at all. But when you get paid here, you see like, oh, this is like almost a million or around a million. But when you get paid here on Myanmar chats, it just looks like a lot. Like I'm a millionaire. Not the kind of millionaire I want to be. At least not on a place where everything costs thousands to buy. So if you are a millionaire, you go to the shop and then you just spend half of it. Mm. With that said, if you want to know how much I spent living in Myanmar, make sure to watch this video up here. And uh, that's not all. Another thing that I don't really like is that sometimes it feels like I'm not really needed. You know how satisfying it is to do something that is really needed. Ciao, ciao.